good morning everybody and happy International Day of the African Child. Typically at the UBA Foundation, we commemorate this day in grant style. We invite schools into our offices or we visit community centers and we read with students across Africa and even across the globe. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 social distancing restrictions, this time round, we've had to modify the celebrations a little bit by hosting our first ever virtual Read Africa. As you might know, the Read Africa program was started in 2011, nine years ago, and it was created in reaction to the dwindling reading culture in our youth. A highly educated and well-informed youth is crucial to the future of Africa. Quality education is essential in developing the manpower needed by Africa to exploit emerging opportunities and to propel the continent to higher levels of development. In this rare season of opportunity, we implore you and your wards to prioritize education and knowledge in all aspects of life because we know that an informed African youth is always unstoppable. Today, we'll be reading Fine Boys by Jose Maswen. It's a story about the coming of age that depicts the peaks and valleys of youth transitioning from secondary school to university. You can join me by clicking on the link in our bio by visiting www.ubagroup.com slash UBA Foundation to read along. I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs from the book. I learned to smoke in October of that year. It was a month to exams and reading had begun in earnest. No excuses though. I knew they were bad for you. It just happened. It was the night in the car park. I was being teased about how cheap it was to entertain me. Adegua was there, so were Toyo, Keo, Harry and his best friend Chunky. When men are drinking, when men are burning the hair on their chest with hard liquor, what do you do? You sit down there and drink Fanta, Keo said. He was making mouth because he had just come back from raiding his father's petrol station in Lagos and his pockets were full. He had, as he said, opened fire. In front of us were bottles of beer and a Fanta. Everybody but me had a stick of cigarettes in his lips. Instead of you to be happy that you and saves you money, Toyo said. He'd been back since the day they called off the strike. Toyo still had the cast on his arm and struggled to write with it, to hold on to cigarettes with it. He said he could manage to handle bottles of beer with his left hand, but that writing and smoking needed his right. His formerly white POP cast had a flap covered window in it. This Toyo lifted every morning to dress the still open wound beneath. He had redesigned the fenestration with a garish car motif. The window looked like the half wound down window of a blue, red and black Toyota. Our signatures were all on the cast. Keo's, Edegwa's, Willem's, Oliver Tambo's and mine. Forget there is money. There is armed robber. 419 and I will money tonight. I need my guys to drink, Keo said, laughing. Everybody but me joined in. I encourage you to finish the reading and drop a comment about your favorite part of the book. Happy reading and once again, happy International Day of the African Child. God bless. <music>